Greetings. Thank you for taking the time to visit my website. Uh, my name is Jackson Rip Holmes. I'm running for city commissioner in Coral Gables. Uh, if, in one phrase, I'm against runaway development. I'm against development in Coral Gables. It's just gotten completely out of control. Um, uh, I, I want to give you an explanation of how things got out of hand. What I think our best hope is to put, for putting the brakes on this runaway development that's really destroyed our city. Um, um, and I, I want to try to um, focus on something I think uh, anyone watching is probably going to agree completely with. The most important thing in any campaign, but especially right now for Coral Gables, is uh, the safety of our children. And with the runaway development, you know, for, for so many decades, people came to Coral Gables, uh, pr prominent families like your own, um, uh, with the notion that Coral Gables remained a suburb uh, free of urbanization and the crime that comes with it. Uh, and so if uh, someone has an infant child that they need to raise, let's say, to the age of 18 when they become independent, from zero to 18 is a long period of time. And regrettably, those days are gone. Um, I'll, I'll explain why they're gone, what's happened, but they're gone. This is no longer a place where a person can project that their, their child will be free of urbanization and crime uh, for the next 18 years. The, the, uh, the barn, the horse has left the barn and it's not coming back, and it's no longer safe to raise your children in Coral Gables when you project for the next 18 years. We are becoming a megalopolis. They've already made huge mistakes. It's not safe for children. If, if we're projecting raising a child from zero to 18, it's this people who are doing that, unfortunately, thanks to development, and I'll get into the reasons, need to move to Pinecrest, need to move to Kendale Lakes, to Rowell, further out um, because, um, so let me actually try to focus then on how this has happened, uh, basically Citizens United, and what our best chance is for fighting it and trying to slow down the runaway train. <clears throat> um, it, it took me a while. I've run in a few elections. I have property on Miracle Mile that I need to protect, um, and uh, that's... It's become now a campaign of desperation, a campaign of survival. Uh, how do we deal with these uh, uh, run amok developers who all they want to do is make money over um, the interest of the residents of Coral Gables, of whether it's safe for children and so on. Um, uh, so how did this happen? And then I'll get to my what I say is the best solution. Um, but it's not a total solution. They're destroying our city. It's not going to be fit for uh, safe residents uh, over the next 18 years. It's, it's, it's just a calamity. Um, how did this happen? Um, Citizens United, in the year approximately 2010, the U.S. Supreme Court decision allowed uh, unlimited, it says corporations have constitutional rights, an incredible proposition, but never did we think it would trickle down to Coral Gables. We thought this is like, you know, this is national government, you know, all the lobbyists in Washington, D.C., little did I think. But then I saw um, that Jeanette Slesnick, whose, whose uh, husband had beaten uh, Raul Valdez Valley, the ultimate developer, um, back in 2001, if you recall, but she lost two extremely close case, close elections, excuse me, to him. In, um, am I getting my years right? 2000, um, forgive me, it's, it's not important really, 2017 and 19. And I asked Don Slesnick, who by this time had taken pity on me, is this because of Citizens United? And he said, yes. And what? how does that boil down? Uh, um, Citizens United uh, legalizes buying City Hall uh, in our campaigns. 
um, developers now donate more than four times as much money as all taxpayers combined. So I've had a lot of good candidates. You know, I've been a perennial losing candidate. Uh, I hang out at City Hall. I've attended, let's roughly two, th two thirds of all city commission meetings uh, since the year 1998. I, I know City Hall, I am, I'm a perennial loser, right? But I know City Hall better than a lot of the commissioners themselves who may have been young when I started hanging out at City Hall. Uh, and, you know, may have still been in high school. Um, I'm 71 years old. I was born in Coral Gables, raised here. Hablo fluido español. Hablo fluido el español. Um, um, y, y estoy luchando contra el comunismo en Perú, de donde viene mi esposa. Eligieron un presidente comunista en Perú hace un año y medio. Estamos luchando. Uh, es, es otro tema que voy a hablar y explorar en otro sitio. I just said, I, I, me and my wife are fighting communism in Peru. Oh boy. So, um, getting back then to Citizens United. So, if you, you figure uh, the candidates who uh, care about winning above all, uh, realize that they need to tailor their message and tailor their performance to the people with the four with with the mega contributions a pack has unlimited donations right and history shows that they get four times as much money from the developers as from all taxpayers combined so you see this um what we normally say is a corrupting process but citizens united makes it legal to buy city hall uh, to try to make my point in the briefest period of time, we no longer have a democracy in Coral Gables. We have a developerocracy. How do we, how have other places, place, the city of Miami Beach, so now I get to the answer. The city of Miami Beach and the city of Key Biscayne have amended their charter to require a photo referendum to approve or disapprove any major new development. Um, let me give you an example of how that can help Coral Gables. Well, that's what we need to do. We need to amend our charter. Uh, if need be, we need to do a citizen's referendum to get the charter amended. Um, and then require that requires voter approval of any major new development. Let me give you an example of how that succeeds in stopping this development run amok. Um, in my, on Miami Beach, the mega developer and billionaire Stephen Ross, uh, a owner of the Miami Dolphins, said he wanted to redevelop uh, the Deauville Hotel, the famous Deauville that burned down a few years back. And um, uh, but he he wanted to make a colossus, and so the city informed him he had to win a ref a voter referendum because it's a major new development. Um, so we have a billionaire developer owner of the related companies, uh, guess who lost and is cannot build, despite his billions of dollars, what he wanted to build. Because the voters told him, no, it works. That's what we need to do in Coral Gables. Um, it's now uh, almost nine minutes into this, and brevity can be a virtue. Um, let me see if there's some other major points I want to cover. Um, there are, but uh, rather than lose your interest, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and leave it there. Uh, I invite your call to me by on my cell phone, 305-338-5000. Uh,